Imagine moving water without touching it. Droplets that merge, split, dance, all at your command. No wires, no tubes, no syringes, just physics, programming, and innovation. Researchers at MIT's Media Lab just unveiled something straight out of a sci-fi movie. Programmable water droplets. This tech doesn't just move water with magnets. It changes the liquid into a programmable machine. Today we're diving into the science behind it, how it works, and what this could mean for medicine, chemistry, and space missions. I'm Ben, this is Physics or Bust. So how do you actually move water without touching it? The answer is part material science, part physics, and a big dose of precision engineering. At the heart of this tech is a surface embedded with an array of electromagnetic coils. Think of them like tiny magnets that can be turned on and off by a computer. When current runs through a coil, it creates a magnetic field, as we know from Ampere's law. And if the water on the grid contains magnetic nanoparticles, tiny iron oxide molecules for instance, then it becomes a magnetically responsive object. Each of these magnetic fields is weak on its own, but activated in sequence, MIT researchers can create a controlled magnetic gradient that pulls the droplet along the surface. This technique is based on a physical phenomenon called magnetophoresis, the movement of particles or fluids in response to a magnetic field gradient. But moving droplets clearly isn't just about magnets. Water droplets naturally want to stick to surfaces because of surface tension and adhesion forces, a classic problem in fluid mechanics. To counter this, MIT researchers used a super hydrophobic surface, engineered at the microscopic level to reduce friction, repel water, and minimize what's called contact angle hysteresis. That's a fancy term to talk about how hard it is to get a droplet to move once it's at rest. Some systems even use slips. That stands for slippery, liquid-infused, porous surfaces. Basically a lubricating liquid between the solid surface and the droplet, enabling the droplet to glide as if it's on ice. The results? Precise contactless programmable motion of individual droplets in real time. You can have droplets take a straight path, a curved path, and even have droplets collide and merge. And it's not just about movement. MIT researchers have been able to take two droplets of different chemicals and merge them together to make a chemical reaction happen. They can even split one droplet into two, controlling the volume with extreme accuracy. All of this is orchestrated with microcontroller logic and custom software. The grid essentially makes a magnetic terrain for liquids. And you can change that terrain just by changing the programming. Each droplet's position is tracked, and coil activation is planned out like a chess game. Calculated several moves ahead in order to prevent unwanted collisions, ensure precision, and maintain speed. This is what makes it programmable. Not just in name, but in how it's literally controlled by lines of code. So to recap, MIT's system combines electromagnetic physics, magnetic materials, surface chemistry, and smart algorithms to move and manipulate droplets of liquids without a single touch. It's an elegant example of turning pure science into real-world tech. Okay, so it's cool tech, but what can you actually do with programmable water? Good question. I got a list for you. First up, medicine. Imagine being able to shrink a lab down to the size of a chip the size of your thumb. Blood samples, DNA analysis, drug mixing. It could all be automated with droplets without any bulky tubes or pumps. Next, chemical and biological research. In chemistry and biolabs, researchers consistently need to combine really tiny amounts of reactants. This system lets them do it quickly and precisely, over and over without wasting materials. Third big use is rapid prototyping of experiments. Because the platform's programmable, it can be reconfigured in seconds. Just change the code and voila, you have a, the new setup. Next, we have dynamic displays and smart surfaces. One day, these droplets could be used in artistic displays, smart surfaces, or even soft robotics that reconfigure themselves using fluid logic in order to be able to pick up delicate things that require a gentle touch. And my favorite area, space exploration. In space, fluid handling is a nightmare. 
With programmable droplets, astronauts could control fluid in microgravity for medical research, repairs, or chemical reactions without relying on Earth-like gravity. Of course, this isn't ready for your kitchen counter just yet. The system still relies on magnetic nanoparticles, which might not be ideal for certain circumstances, especially the biological applications. It's also limited by grid size, power consumption, and a sensitivity to both temperature and humidity. But the potential is massive. MIT's work is part of a bigger vision. Programmable matter surfaces and materials that reshape themselves in real time, guided by code, not construction. So next time you spill some water, imagine if it could clean itself up automatically. From programmable water to quantum chips, science is changing what's possible, one molecule at a time. So what application of this tech do you see that we didn't talk about? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'd like this book. I have an affiliate link in the description below. I do get a small commission, but it doesn't cost you any extra. For more space science and tech updates, remember to like and subscribe, and remember, keep asking questions. I'll see you in the next video.